Oh my god, I just spilled coffee on the on the AK. <laughs> it's gonna clean her up a bit. Okay, great start. Alright, let's try this one more time. The Weapon Tech uh, AK-47 Enhanced Bolt hold, hold Open Follower. I think that, that word enhanced is in there somewhere. But everything's enhanced nowadays. I actually really hate that word, enhanced. In the gun industry, they really like to use the word enhanced. Uh, usually that just means slightly changing the code in the CNC machine and then upcharging 10 bucks and uh, calling it enhanced will <laughs> uh, get people to buy just about anything. So anyways, but um, all this basically is, is a last round bolt hold open follower that has a little uh, steel piece right there. So come on, focus. There we go. So I don't think the steel piece goes all the way in here. Um, this is a plastic mag, uh, mag follower. So I, I can't really say anything about the durability of it. Um, I haven't fired it too much. The two magazines that I used um, to test this out, one was just a like generic South Korean uh, mag that came with, um, I think it was this 20 round mag right here. It came with this steel follower and then this SGM mag, the 30 rounder, which is right here. Uh, this came with, uh, as you can see, I had to label it so I didn't get mixed up, but this is also steel. So the fact that this one is plastic is a little disconcerting, but it may not be necessary to uh, have these made out of metal. Um, having them made out of plastic might be just fine, um, but I think that, uh, you know, obviously the plastic will not be as durable as, say, a metal follower. And I guess what I'm trying to really get to is that um, I don't really think these are worth the money or the time. Um, spoiler alert, but I'm just going to say it kind of right off the start. Um, there is really no reason, I think, to have a last round bolt hold open with your AK. Because for one thing, it will lock the mag open. Uh, I probably shouldn't do that on the table. This table's not exactly sturdy. I need to anchor it to the wall. Anyways, uh, but um, yeah, it will lock the bolt back on the last round. But once you take this mag out, it's going to send the bolt home. So if you're going to insert a new mag, you're going to have to rack it anyways. So you're not really saving any time, you know, by having the bolt stay back on the last round. Um, it's also not exactly easier by any means too, because you're still going to have to insert a full mag uh, with, you know, the full amount of spring tension being pressed up against the bolt and then uh, charging it. But I guess what you're kind of doing is you're just spending some extra money on a little feature that probably isn't necessary in the first place. This I actually got in a three pack. And uh, let me go and just show you guys. This is basically all it comes with. Um, but this, uh, three pack um, came in like a little plastic bag with this piece of cardboard. So basically you just remove the base plate, uh, replace the follower, you know, and you're good to go. But that's only for magazines that you can remove the base plate. Actually, let me go ahead and bring up an assortment of magazines. So here's a, <laughs> my collection of AK mags. Um, so something like a PMAG won't work. Uh, you can remove the follower, but it's, uh, it doesn't work. It's not the same kind. So you can see there's a, a slight difference. And then something like these uh, US Palm mags, um, you cannot remove the floor plate. And the uh, follower may be a little different as well. So you got that to think about and then this is just, uh, actually I'm going to keep this here on the table for a sec. This is the Croatian bolt hold open right here um, with no plastic whatsoever. This follower right here is a steel follower. And uh, again, for why it's not exactly necessary to get these followers, um, you can just get one of these steel mags. I've seen them as low for as like $8, 8 or $9 on various websites. Um, 
and uh, you don't have to worry about taking the mag apart and uh, spending extra money to get the follower. The follower th themselves, I mean, they're not that expensive. They're like $4 uh, if you can find them on sale, which I did. I think I got a three pack for $12. But anyways, yeah, you're, you're very limited to the kind of mags that you can use. Uh, so no P mags, no US Palm. And I think there's like another kind of mag you can't use it on. Basically, you're just limited to these steel mags. Uh, it does work really well, though, in the steel mags. I didn't have any uh, failures of any kind. Um, good to focus here. Come on. There we go. So I didn't have any failures of any kind. Um, I didn't really shoot a lot of um, rounds out of this either. I'd say maybe um, 60 rounds. You know, I loaded this mag up twice, and then I... Loaded this mag up uh, twice as well, so what's that? Quick math, 100 rounds. <laughs> okay, so that was literally exactly 100 rounds with no failures of any kind, and it was done on a good test platform because this is the uh, the PS a PSA AK47 or PSAC, um, which I do have a video on. Uh, I'll link that in the description if you want to check it out. But this gun has literally never had a stoppage of any kind. And I've also never cleaned this gun before. Uh, I literally took it out of the box and just started shooting it. I think it's the only gun I've ever done that to. I definitely don't recommend uh, shooting your guns and never cleaning them. But I just wanted to test this out because it's the famous AK. Uh, super durable, almost indestructible uh, AK platform. So I just wanted to see uh, how it would run. And she's running great. Just one more thing to kind of go over. I don't know if this has anything to do with uh, whether or not you're buying this in another country, but um, ITAR? The frick is ITAR? Apparently it's the, uh, what is it, International Traffic in Arms Regulations. Um, so I guess somehow a stupid plastic follower is regulated. That's ridiculous. So anyways, I don't really want to bash this follower, I mean, it does what it's supposed to, but is it worth it? You know, you make that call. I obviously bought it because I'm probably going to keep it in these two mags. Um, it's just kind of fun to have, but I will say that there is something really nice about, let me, there is something really nice about just simply that sound right there. <laughs> if you got a mag in it, and it holds back on the last round, you're not gonna be able to do all that cool racking and stuff that you see AK operators do. But, like I said, you make the call. I think it's kinda cool. So, I guess that's about it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.